A couple of weeks back, I covered some updates to some Google apps that added proper drag and drop support. Well, now Google has released a new blog post just yesterday detailing how they are expanding that sort of thing. And this is really good news for people likely, like you and I, who might be a user of Surface Duo or perhaps a Z Fold, these larger screen Android devices, or perhaps dual screen Android devices, where I actually think drag and drop makes even more sense because let's be honest, on a big Android device, be it a tablet or a Z Fold, a foldable tablet, you can split screen. And in that regard, drag and drop makes a lot of sense from one split screen app to the other. But on something like Duo, a dual screen device, you're always doing two apps at once. And in that regard, drag and drop makes just that much more sense. But let's look at the blog post here and let's see exactly what we're talking about. They say today we're making Google Workspace apps even better on Android's larger screens with updates to drive docs, sheets, slides, and keep. This is a big deal because this is a lot of their workspace apps. And for people that are into productivity, these are the big ones. Now, the general idea here is that when you're using those apps, you're going to be able to drag and drop text, images, and as you can see here, an actual table from one app to the other, and it's going to throw it in the other app just like you see there in that repeating GIF image. It looks like it's going to work really, really well. In Google Drive, you can upload files, photos, so forth by simply dragging them from one compatible app directly into Google Drive. This is stuff we're used to having on our computer, right? Drag and drop is something that is so useful for being productive on your computer. Seeing this kind of functionality... I don't know, but I found these results on search. As I was saying, seeing these sorts of things on your smartphone, your tablet, in your pocket really makes me excited in ways it probably shouldn't. They also talk about dragging images from Keep into these other apps. Google Photos also works this way. You can actually now open Google Drive in multiple windows. Apparently, you're going to be able to select a file and then open it in another window. As you can see in this thing here is it will slide over here in a moment and boom, there you go. You're now split windowing Google Drive. That is really, really good to see. And they're adding keyboard shortcuts for those of us that might be using an external keyboard. It really does look like Google is doubling down on this drag and drop thing. And the cool thing about this is that this is just part of their recommendations going forward. They want all Android apps to support drag and drop. Now they can't force this to happen, apparently, but they can heavily emphasize that this is what they want to see. And again, this is part of the Google guidelines going forward post Android 12 L. Foldables and tablets are a thing. This needs to be supported. And Google is finally leading from the front on this after, honestly, way too long of not doing this. I'm just happy that it's finally happening now. Now, not all of these have actually made their way to my phone. Not all of this is working, but a decent amount of it is working. And I can kind of demo it for you here just to let you see exactly what we're talking about when we mean drag and drop. What is that going to actually look like? I know you saw some repeating GIFs there, but they're a little low frame rate. Let's actually look at what it's going to look like in real time. So let's open up Google Keep first because this is a good one. And then if we want to drag a photo into Google Keep this particular note, let's open Open up a note here that is blank. We're going to long press and select a photo, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to long press it again and you can drag it around. You can see not only am I dragging it around the circles, you can also see that the keep note just turned blue because it's telling me, hey, you can put stuff here. So let's drag it over to that app, let it go, and boom, eventually it's going to be the photo. There you go. There's my girl Copper who actually turns 12 here at the 1st of August, hanging out in the old elephant ears beside the koi pond. But you can see how well that does work. Now let's go another direction. Let's get rid of photos and let's go into a different photos app. We're going to go into the photos app that is based on OneDrive because I want to kind of correct something I said before, illuminate you guys maybe that don't understand that I didn't understand either because you can't actually drag photos from OneDrive into other apps as well. Microsoft has supported this. So here's the trick. I tried this by going to where we are now, went to my photos, there are my photos, let's long press this flower, this rose, and try to drag it. And you can't, it won't let you do it, it does not work. What you have to do 
is you have to upload them first. If you go to the OneDrive folder, which I don't keep any of my actual photos on OneDrive. These are actually screenshots associated with saves for a video game that just by happenstance got uploaded. If I long press one of them, lo and behold, I can drag it right over and it works exactly the same. So this does work, but the caveat there is that you have to upload the photos before it's drag and droppable. I don't know why that's the case, my opinion, that's dumb. You should be able to move them over if they're on your device. I don't want to use OneDrive to back up my photos. I use Google Photos for that. I don't need two apps to do the same thing. Don't know why that doesn't work, but yes, Microsoft does support it. To go a step further, you can indeed long press and select text. And from there, you can drag that text into pretty much any text field that you want to drag it into. So again, this stuff is kind of here now. We have it a little bit. Google is rolling out into more and more of their apps, more and more apps getting split screen support that no, they're not directly meant for Surface Duo. But I would argue that not only do they benefit Duo a lot, they might actually benefit Duo more than any other device because like I said earlier, Duo is always split screen. So split screen features going to help here more than just about anywhere else. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll link the full blog post down below if you want to read it for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.